Hello goblins, it's Chris, Eldritch Pipes, and welcome to 2021, come on in. We're here for a tobacco review, but before I get there, I'm going to show you a pipe. My initial intention was to use this video uh, to advertise this pipe, to sell it, but fortunately, or, or unfortunately, fortunately, it's sold now. So it's just for display purposes. This is the Blackthorn Horn. I was interested in trying a, a different sort of finish. I wanted something that looked really rustic. Um, and kind of natural, unnaturally natural. So it's a mixture of rustication and sandblast and you can see there's a slight contrast so that's the it's black stained black but blasted back so you can see the grain coming through and that's natural briar color underneath almost natural slightly darker it just the level of detail you get is kind of pleasing. Kind of crazy rim. Olive Eldritch Cumberland stem. And this is really wild. Quite like that. You can sort of see the Blackthorn influence most readily on the bottom there. So there you go. Blackthorn horn. Very pleased with that guy, so I've, um, I think I'll be trying to do something similar soon. All right. Last year I was sent a bunch of tobaccos, some really great ones from Ken Smirk. And there was one in the bottom of the box that, uh, I thought I would leave for another time. And this now is that time. I think he sort of sent it with a bit of a, a wry sense of humour. But it is half and half. Which, okay, so it's a, a Burley and Virginia blend. It's an aromatic. Now on... Um, Tobacco Reviews site, it lists all kinds of flavours going into this thing, like some exotic ones, there's cardamom li um, listed, possibly anise, but to me it comes across as cherry. A spicy cherry, but it all comes together to form cherry in my mind. It's a curious cut for a pipe tobacco. Or rather I gather it has um, dual purposes. It can also be used as a cigarette tobacco. Interesting. <laughs> so, it doesn't smell that bad. Um, in fact, you know, quite pleasing. Normally that would be a charring light, but it seems to be off. Does it need another one? It 
there is a pleasing amount of smoke <laughs> coming off the thing. You are kind of creating a cloud. If I kind of like it always helps the um the blend feel like it's it's got some body. Surprisingly the the topping the flavouring is not that strong in flavour. It's there, it comes in sort of most readily in the retro hail. I have to admit I was expecting it to be stronger, in fact I was expecting it to be overwhelming, and it's not. It's a little bit tongue bitey. Just a little. There's like a, a sizzle on the tongue. Which is okay. I've smoked worse. And it's just a little bit, a little bit acrid. That is sort of sour in not quite the right way. But for all that, The actual flavour is quite pleasant. <laughs> In fact, flavour wise, it kind of reminds me of McBaron Cube, which is a little bit of, if you're familiar with that one, it's a bit of a nondescript um, flavouring, kind of like everything in the kitchen sink. Cherry, vanilla, licorice, whatever they can put their hands on. And it's not that different from this. That's um, a cube cut, it's cut bigger so it smokes a little softer. This is burning quite quickly. It's hotter. I was saying it's tongue bitey. That's kind of settled down, but it's kind of that the acrid element is still there. If you don't retrohale as part of how you smoke, maybe you won't get that. Um, but I do. And yeah, but I've got to say, not bad. On balance, not bad. I don't know what you guys pay for it over there, but I, I believe it's a, a an affordable over-the-counter blend. And for that, it's actually pretty good. There's many tobaccos I think I would reach for before this one. Uh, but as a kind of straightforward kind of crowd pleaser in a lot of ways, it's okay.
All right. I will leave it there. That's my review for somebody's. Who who makes this? Scandinavian Tobacco Group. That is Scandinavian Tobacco Groups. Half and half. All right. Until next time, it'll either be a review or it'll be uh, a pipe maker. One or the other. Oh, and I'm going to be uh, a speaker on a virtual pipe tobacco group meeting on the 30th of January. So if you're part of that group, I'll see you then. All right. Till next time, take it very easy. Your loyal pipe maker.